Um, welcome back to the Chris Ali Real Estate Show. Very, very excited to have a, uh, a good friend on the show today. We've got Ms. Jen West, uh, co-owner, operator of West End CrossFit. Jen, how are you doing today? I'm doing well, Chris. Thanks so much for having me on today. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. You were, you were super excited to, to get and, and do this, right? This doesn't, Absolutely. This doesn't make you nervous at all. No, no anxiety about this whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I, I gotta say, like, I, I kind of feel good about it because the, the butterflies, the nervousness, like I would walk in the gym in the morning and be like, oh, we're gonna do yep. 5 million burpees today. Like, this is <laughs> awesome. Like, Total role reversal. Yeah, yeah, so a little bit, little bit of vindictive uh, spirit, so. Yes, I like it. Anyway, so what we're talking about today, everybody's cooped up in their houses, You're, a lot of folks are working at home, everybody's kind of off their schedule. So what we wanted to do today was just to give you guys some, some resources as far as what you can do to stay active, stay healthy, stay exercising, not only for yourself, but, but for your entire family during this time. Uh, Jen, before we get into the meat and potatoes of it, give me a short, sweet background. How'd you get into fitness? How'd you get into CrossFit? How'd you end up owning a gym? What, what's the, the story that got us to this point? Yeah, absolutely. So I've been involved in athletics for all of my life since I was a kid. Uh, played college volleyball at VCU, and oh, once I graduated, yeah, yeah, so uh, collegiate athlete. Once I graduated, uh, graduated with a psych degree, I've always known I'd wanted to help people. And for me, it was just a natural fit to include fitness yeah. um, in that description. So I was actually a personal trainer at the YMCA first, and then one of my teammates, her uh, husband, is or was at the time an EOD specialist in the Navy. And so he turned us on to uh, explosive operations. Yeah. So super duty covert operations, right? Worked with Navy SEALs. Yeah. Um, and so this was in 2008. So CrossFit was underground then. People had garage gyms. It just wasn't as well known as it is now. Yeah. Uh, so he told us to check out CrossFit.com went onto the website and it was 30 muscle ups for time. And I immediately dismissed it, had no idea about how to scale and modify workouts. But uh, my, my husband at the time, Tim, he convinced me to do my very first CrossFit workout, which was Cindy, as many rounds as possible in 20 minutes, five pull ups, 10 push ups, 15 air squats. And I was sold. I was absolutely sold there. So uh, West End CrossFit was born out of the need to help people. Uh, and like I mentioned, fitness was the perfect fit for me. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Um, all right. So let's get into it. Um, so like we talked about, a lot of people are stuck at home right now. A lot of people's schedules have been disrupted because now the kids are home, you know, you're not going to work. They're kind of off kilter. Um, I think we would both recommend that keeping some type of fitness regimen not only for, for health, but also for vanity and sanity are, are good ideas right sure. now. Um, what are some workouts that people can be doing at home? Obviously, we don't have access to gyms right now. You right. Know, we don't have all the equipment. Um, what can folks be doing? They can be doing anything that's body weight. Body weight exer exercises will include squats, uh, push-ups, burpees. You can use household items, right? Yep. We can use household items to weight us down if we need to. So some examples, something really easy uh, to make an odd object out of, kids' backpacks, right? I know my son's backpack, I had to unload because it was so heavy. Uh, but you can take a few books, wrap those books in towels, and put that into your backpack. That way you're not gonna get hit with any jagged edges, right? Yep. Anything you put into your backpack or um, a duffel bag, make sure you do wrap it in towels so you're safe. And okay. there you have a weighted object. Yep. You can squat with that. You can lunge with that. You could jog with it if you'd like. Yeah. We were talking about before we hit the, the record button, um, I've seen people on Instagram like picking up their kids or picking up their, their pets and like doing air yeah. squats for, uh, for weight resistance. Totally. Um, yeah, and, and and burpees do not put you at higher risk for Corona. As much as I wish they did, I, I mean, know the CDC we don't get said, to mix those. Yeah, yeah, they they haven't said burpees are out yet. So that's no, just, they're not out. Yeah, um, more popular than ever. <laughs> so, um, so you know, maybe if somebody's new to this, maybe like this is their wake up call. Like, 
where should they start? What, like, should they just start running outside? Like, what, what's, maybe let's talk to some of the people that have been a little more sedentary. Like, what can they be doing? Sure. So they just want to keep their intensity lower. It's not an all or nothing approach as far as hitting jogs. Start with 200 meter jogs or start with 100 meter jogs. It doesn't have to be 400 or a half mile or a mile. We want to keep you interested and we want you able to come back to work out several days within the week. So yep. if you crush yourself on day one, that's not motivating. It's not motivating to keep you coming back for more. You just want to ease yourselves into any type of exercise program if you've been sedentary for a while. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. And there's, there's plenty of social distancing on the roads right now. So This is true. This yep. is true. But even for people who have been working out, you also have to factor in your stress level right now. Uh, some people are anxious who never had anxiety before. Some people are experiencing depression. So if you're feeling the weight of that, you don't need to hit a super intense workout, hit the workout where you are. So right. if you have to dial it back, at least you're still getting that exercise. This is crucial clearly for physical health, but I think it's even more imperative for our mental health right now. I absolutely agree with you. And I don't know about you, but like I could have all the anxiety in the world. I go for a, a jog and, and just magically it, it kind of works it its way out of the system so absolutely i agree with that yeah 100 percent um talk to me what should people be doing what about the kids i mean uh probably not a good time to have your kid glued to a game boy or an xbox for sure. the day um and i mean the kids are even they're getting less exercise and movement just with the way we're doing school so what are some things that people can be doing with the whole family so the entire family there there's one workout that i love it's called deck of cards Obviously, you just need a deck of cards, but there's also apps on your phone that you can uh, download. Yep. Uh, so with deck of cards, you have an exercise or a movement with each suit. So an example of that, say hearts, you designate a 100 meter jog with, right? So whenever you pull out hearts, you go off for a 100 meter jog. When you hit uh, diamonds, maybe your exercise is push-ups. So the and also the number on the card corresponds with the number of reps that you're going to complete as well. Like so if you have three of diamonds, you're going to do three push-ups. So yep. you can do uh, sit-ups, push-ups, air squat, burpees, of course, burpees come back out. Uh, any number of body weight do exercises. Those burpees. I'll, I'll, put it, I'll put it out right here. Burpees are going to give you the corona. They are. Table. Yeah, so they're <laughs> off the table. We're doing so many burpees right now. So yeah. many burpees. I like that t-shirt. It's like burpees hate you too. You know? It's true. It's yeah. true. Yeah. Um, okay. So super cool. I mean, that seems like a, a very, that's a very doable thing to do. I mean, that's something that you can customize if, if maybe you're, you're not as in shape. Like that's a very, that's a very scalable, as we say in the CrossFit Absolutely. world, that, that's a very, you know, customizable type workout. So Absolutely. Super cool. Um, Talk to me about maybe some other things that think people, lifestyle choices, as we call them, that people should be thinking about. Um, what are some other things that people should and can be doing to not only stay healthy, but also to keep their immune system up uh, during this time? Because that, that's a big thing. I mean, like contact is a big thing, but also being a healthy person is, is pretty critical as well. Of course. I think it's really important to, as best you can, still establish a routine. Yep. Uh, I know that in the first few days of this, just throwing myself under the bus, I found myself eating more than normally because I wasn't right. I wasn't in the gym coaching six hours straight. Um, and I find I, I found the myself was eating. just with our, with our arm crafts. Oh, yeah. my. And I, I'm, I'm eating. I didn't even realize it. I, I was just I was eating and I was surfing the Web for info. And so I think it's important to, number one, definitely establish that routine. Be mindful of when and why and what you're eating. And it's not about eating perfectly. We, we, I just posted something on our Instagram page. Eating 100% healthy isn't that. perfection, right? It, it's prison. So we need to be gentle with ourselves right now. We're going through something we've never experienced before. Yeah. Um, so that 80% rule, if you can eat healthy 80% of the time, then you're gonna feel better, uh, sleep better, 
and you can actually help control that anxiety a little bit more. We know that processed foods will contribute uh, to some of those issues. Yeah. So shopping on the outer, uh, outer pieces of the grocery store, right? Trying to stick to that as much as possible. Yeah, and all the crazies are going to aisle 17 in the middle for the toilet paper. Anyway. I was gonna say, that's gotta be the TP aisle. Yeah, absolutely. I can't find chicken right now, by the way. Wegmans, Wegmans. Wegmans has it, because Publix has been out for at least the last two weeks. So. Yeah, I got chicken. My wife told me last night, she was like, I, I need chicken in my yes. life. So I, I need like, chicken. Yeah. I've never needed chicken so bad in my life. Yeah, Weg Wegmans has got you. Um, yeah. What are some other things? How much sleep should people be getting? I was just about to say at least eight, right? I think at least eight hours. And that goes into establishing that routine. Try to stick with the, the same bedtime every night, just like yeah. when we were getting up and going to work on a regular basis. Yeah. I know my schedule has changed. I will admit I'm not waking up at 4 a.m. to get ready for a 5 a.m. class right now, but I'm still trying to get myself out of bed by 7 a.m. and get my day started. Yeah, probably not a good time to be like rewatching House of Cards until 3 a.m. Because I mean, then the immune system drops, you're all off your, your schedule and everything. Sleep um, is when we recover. Sleep is when we recover. So if you are incorporating workouts, that sleep is going to be even more crucial to your body recovering. Gotcha. Um, people have probably heard this before. How much water should they be drinking? Oh, man. Pound the water. I would be drink. That's one thing that I found my um, my water intake dropped drastically. Not yep. being in my routine, not being in the gym, uh, and I was noticing I was dehydrated. So if you're not drinking water and you're not eating those fresh veggies, taking in water uh, that route as well, you are going to notice you're more fatigued, you're more cloudy, you're more foggy uh, with your thoughts. So yeah, it's very crucial to stay on top of that water intake as well. Yeah. And Probably not a good time. I mean, we're all a little stressed. Uh, I think if yes. you're not, you're not paying attention, but uh, probably not a good time to be drinking copious amounts of alcohol or, I agree. or smoking things. Or, sure, you know, yeah, because that decreases our immune system, right? Especially that, that alcohol, that's a depressant. It's yeah. going to affect your sleep. And it, again, it just lowers that immune system. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, well, Jen, I, I know you're busy. I know you got a lot going on right now. Um, we want to first and, and foremost, uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for jumping on here. Uh, if somebody wanted to know more, I, I know you guys are doing some cool things. I saw y'all basically lent your equipment out to, to all the members. If somebody Absolutely. wants to learn more about the, the CrossFit gym, assuming that the, the zombie apocalypse doesn't get us all, uh, where, where should they go or, or what are you guys doing now? Yeah, so right now we're posting videos for uh, workouts of the day on okay. our public West End CrossFit page on Facebook. So anybody um, can see that? Anybody can see that. Yeah, those are uh, free and open for the public to watch, to use as they see fit. Um, you can follow us on Instagram. I'm not posting the workouts there, but I am posting uh, pictures and trying to keep the community involved. Um, so the best place is to go to Facebook for sure and start following our public West End CrossFit page. Absolutely. And for somebody, because I get this a lot when I talk about CrossFit, do, do you have to be like training to go into the Navy SEALs or like training to go into the Olympics to do CrossFit? I, I think that's a big misconception of it's like- It's a huge misconception. No, yeah. I'm glad you brought that up. And I feel like now, is the best time for people to see that CrossFit truly is for everyone, especially with the body weight workouts that we're pushing out right now. Yeah. Um, we do have an option for minimal equipment, but everybody and anybody can do this. And we talk about modifications and scaling options in those videos as well. Yeah, so I mean, tell people if they're just not, you know, if maybe they've heard of CrossFit, but they've heard misconceptions, like what are the main tenets of CrossFit? What, what do you guys promote? Because I was, I was thoroughly, you know, I had, I had a misconception when I started working out with you guys and I was thoroughly impressed, you know, once I kind of got into the fold, but uh, what, what should people know about CrossFit? I think people should know that we, CrossFit in general, the program can meet you where you are. So just as an example, maybe the workout of the day includes, and this is when we have our gym, gym equipment, of course, a 95 pound front squat for a female. 
we have many females who aren't front squatting 95 pounds. Some will do an empty barbell. Some will do unweighted completely. Some will take a dumbbell or a kettlebell and treat it as a goblet squat instead. And we encourage and advocate modification and scaling because the priority is to keep you safe, first and foremost. And secondly, it's for you to improve. So we need to build a foundation first. Yeah. But there's no shaming, no shaming in CrossFit. No, not at all. No, and I can I can say firsthand, I mean, you guys are amazing about that. It's a very inclusive community. It's, uh, you know, you guys have always done a great job as far as showing people what the modifications are and, you know, building people up and, and training good skills and all that. So thank um, you. Jen, once again, thank you for your time. Uh, we wish you guys absolutely the best. I know it's a very tough time to be in the gym business right now or, or the fitness yeah. industry, so to speak. Uh, but uh, we, we absolutely look forward to seeing you on the other side of this thing. And uh, go to the Facebook page, check them out, and uh, get your ass off the couch. If, That's right. You know, I'm sitting home right now. So anyway. Thank you so much, Chris. All right. Thank you, Jen. We'll see you. Okay. Bye. Bye. That was awesome. Woo, thank you. That was so cool. Thanks, Chris. I like your energy. We missed yeah. you at the gym. I know, I know. I, I, I have fond memories. How's the new yeah. space treating you guys, by the way? I love the new space. Yeah. To me, it's a throwback to like old school CrossFit, having a warehouse. Like a warehouse kind of feel. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we've got a big ass fan. That's awesome. Um, so for most members, the summer, because we went through our first summer last year, I some had some complaints, but others, they're like, I'm glad I'm sweating, right? Yeah. Like they, they like the environment. Oh, because so It's more private. Uh, we have a private runway. So a private parking lot where we can run, in other words. So, okay. Yeah, nice. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Are you guys keeping the, the 5 a.m. class? Is that still going strong? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're keeping the 5 a.m. class. I've been in touch with my 5 a.m.ers. Um, I've got like five strong. I've got five solid in that okay. five eight class. Okay. So, yeah, it's it's gonna be interesting going back <laughs> to yeah, that yeah, yeah. routine. And yeah, I think everybody's times are gonna be a little bit off for that first uh just a little bit. Sixty days. So um yeah, so I, I certainly absolutely hope to to be able to get back at, at some point. Um the schedule doesn't work right now, but No, I get it. No, you you've got kids, wife, work, it's life, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like, well, we're not going anywhere, I hope. I'm, I'm staying optimistic on this. Hey, well, we're, we'll, we're pr pulling for you. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we get all back to work here pretty soon. Um, it's, I mean, it's a trickle down. No one is unaffected by this. Yeah. No one. Yeah. So. It's, um, I think the second quarter is going to be a little ugly, but um, yeah. the, the numbers show that the third and fourth are, are looking pretty good. So That's awesome. I'm hoping this is a reset. Like 2019, I thought was – I'm like, as soon as that's out, we're good. 2020 is the year. And then it's like the universe said, really, hold my beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's <laughs> 2019. Came back to, yeah, yeah. So, all right. Well, let me let you roll.